What's up everybody, it's Easy back with another Clash of Clans video and we changed topics today to cover my favorite topic, the dirty rotten engineered clans. Here's some background on them, who they are. We, we wrote it out so I don't have to go over it again because I'll just work myself up and get pissed again. As you can tell, if you know me, if you know what I do, we are fighting another engineer clan. These, these guys are pretty intense. So, there's a process that you have to go through when you ha when you have to play against an engineer clan because you know that the, bo the bottom of the clan is going to attack your top of your clan and y you know you're at a disadvantage. So, just in case you don't know what an engineer clan is, I, I got a couple of pictures of the base. Base is on top and underneath is their troops and how many stars they got. All right. I just picked up the mic, brought it on in because we're about to break it down. Now, there's a way that we can fix all this, all the engineer problems. There's a way that, there is a way that it can be fixed. Why it hasn't been done yet, why it's been such a problem, and why it's been this unsolvable conundrum, I don't know. We won't get into that really. But, there is a way you can fix it. And that's to stop looking at defenses, and, and that means don't look at them at all. Don't count any defenses whatsoever and only look at the offense. And this will start a cycle that is very similar to the cycle that's going on now. Right now, they didn't look at defense, they didn't look at the troops for a long time, or they weighed them so they had such a small effect on the weight of the base that players were able to max out their troops and they were able to leave parts of their base minimized and gain an advantage that way. Well, if you only looked at the troops, what people would do is they'd build up their defenses. They'd max out all of their defenses. And in order to combat a base that has max defenses, you'd have to max out your troops. Now, yes, people would probably not max out anything except for their one war army or whatever it is. But there's a way that, that that could work. You could work that. It would work fine. And then the engineered clans would disappear. There would be no you could not engineer a clan if you if they don't look at defense and they only look at your troops so there there it is problem solved why it hasn't been done like i said there's a lot of speculation about it we won't go into that but did have an idea and something that we're going to start haven't started it yet but something that i can do on the website what we are going to do is they have a new feature on the website that i use and we can, which the website by the way is www.clashmadeeasy.com. Uh, we can make what's called dynamic pages, and that is a user input page. And I want to get into that a little more in one second. I just wanted, this was me being immature. I decided to write a little note to the other clan and went off for like a minute or two and got attacked the second I went offline. It, they saw the base without walls. And just so you know, we all know what AF means, but it's not it's not spelled out, so uh, can't no violation there. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I I couldn't have a defenseless base. I I guess uh, I you know I like all aspects of the game. Maybe it's my pride, but I couldn't come on line every day and check out my account and see that someone had three starred me with just their heroes over and over again I just couldn't do it but they don't see, they don't seem to mind they'll make a base that has no defenses they may have one cannon they may have all their cannons and uh, archer towers but they're all level one and they get three starred every time someone attacks them and then they're beasts in war and they usually join a clan that has a ton of excellent players in it that there's no real need for it they can just they can just all um, have max bases and fight other clans with max bases and actually have a competitive war and let the best clan win. And I'll tell you too, I looked at the record of the clan that we're fighting, despite how talented they are, despite many, many, many of them having 1500 stars or more, they are only winning about 50% of their, of their wars because other clans can three star all of them, but the top two or three because none of them have the Eagle Artillery and only the top two or three are Town Hall 11s that have 
you know all the other defenses so you know they're other clans that are, they're getting matched up against other engineer clans i know our clan has several bases on it that we have a, a ton of 0.5s we were considered that a 0.5 clan which was for a long time that's an acceptable uh fair play way to play i don't know if it still is even but but we still do the 0.5 most of us still do that uh and by 0.5 if you don't know what that is that means that when we upgrade for example when i upgrade to town hall 11 i won't put any of the elite town hall 11 defenses out until my troops are until i'm done with my offense so you upgrade your offense first and then you upgrade all your defenses last and then you move on to the next town hall level that doesn't mean you don't upgrade anything you leave things off we, we don't normally do that uh anyway oh and by the way this is another attack on my base i guess this was you know uh since we were beaten up easy today i want to show another attack on my base using the halloween troops still uh, th these troops have been pretty effective uh i finally finished the event myself uh and seen a bunch of great attacks with these troops with the giant the giant skeleton and the pumpkin head barbarians so pretty cool event for this halloween we've, we've ha i've been around now this is i think my third third maybe fourth i don't know it's been a long time uh and this is this may have been the most eventful one that they, they definitely went all out they gave they gave us troops we had events to do there was you know that the decorations and the, the theme so pretty cool time for halloween it's a big event for for supercell you know the game has a bunch of those type of elements in it already you got goblins you got skeletons you got witches you have all the stuff so it don't, it's only natural for them to go all out when there's a holiday that kind of fits into that into that scheme too so getting back into what we're going to be doing on the website there's actually a couple features that i wanted to mention one and we just kind of came up with one we've already had it in the works first let's talk about this engineered it will be a whole page that the users in other words anyone that wants to add information to it the information will be a screenshot of the top base top three bases all the good bases in these engineer clans it wouldn't be the engineer bases because those will three star easily but all their top players we can take a screenshot of those bases and then you have to know how to record you have to know how to record your screen but then you can for those that can three star those top bases they can go into the site and load up the screenshot of the base beforehand load up the screenshot of the the actual attack the replay and eventually we could have a, a bunch of all the engineer clans that everyone runs into they, we could have an inventory of all the different clans all their different top end bases and all of the attacks done on them and how to beat them and that will kind of be the fair play and actually not really that fair is it <laughs> but I, I don't care at this point because uh, I'm, I'm not making an engineer damn but uh, a completely engineered account to combat this so I'll feel better if I could go load up their uh, their top players into a onto the website database and then other users can go and try to find the bases that they're if, if, if they just happen to fight the clan that you just fought last week they can go onto the site. They can look up the look up that clan. They can find the bases that they have, and you will help them by showing them what's on the top side of their base. And I think that that's you know that's kind of dirty, but uh, easy's not always been clean. <laughs> uh, but but I I like that idea. Something that I'm gonna be working on. I like the idea because there's been it's it really let's put it this way i don't know the actual count i don't know if anyone does but we've lost a lot of good players over this we've lost a lot of players that have been dedicated they were youtubers they had they had uh, clan websites that uh, web pages they had facebook accounts uh, for their clan there was a we lost a lot of people over the engineered clans a lot and it's one of the one of the things that it's just it's still not it's not going away um and there are times where you you just can't count on the the game makers to alter their game it's that's kind of a it's almost a ridiculous thing to even expect uh because you don't like a feature uh, they, they're going to change it for you so but at the same time it is it's going on there are clans out there that are going to keep continue to engineer they're, they're going to continue to make defenseless bases and if your clan is like ours 
uh, we take it personally. When we lose to a clan like this, it pisses us off. We don't want to lose. We don't mind losing to other good clans. We, matter of fact, we played some fantastic clans and, and really got beat up bad. Uh, one that comes to mind right away because of the because of how popular they are was the Barbarian Party. Uh, we fought them and they beat the crap out of us and we'd rather that than lose to an engineer clan because every single base that they had in their on their clan in their lineup were superb bases they were great they were great attackers uh, you know if you lose like that that's fine I, I'm, I'm good with that I don't like losing but you know I'm good with that uh, other than playing against a clan that uh, beat you because they have five guys down the bottom that are max 11s on offense so gonna play dirty right back we're gonna have a website on our website we're gonna have some pictures of these of these people we don't know how don't know how popular it's gonna be don't know if we'll catch on uh, but at least you'll see all the ones that we've been you know I'm gonna do it for, our, for all the clans that we run into so you know you may only have 10 or 20 uh, different clans in there from, from, from what I've loaded up but that will be 10 or 20 so the other feature that I mentioned is actually an adaptation of what we have already. Right now on the website we have the best bases. It's the be best bases from Town Hall 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to change that feature a little bit and make it a user input section to where people can go onto the site and you can actually load up your own base. So if you made something that you're really proud of, um, just make sure when you actually load up the screenshot of it, you're not loading up where all the traps are. Uh, not saying that anyone's actually going to find it and, and be able to attack it. But uh, meanwhile, on screen, I decided to show everyone just how powerful one wizard tower can be during an attack and we counted how many troops it took out It was it was amazing how quickly one wizard tower not even maxed out for town hall 10 How quickly one wizard tower was able to take out all these troops until the wizards finally popped them So seven barbarians 22 goblins one wizard all in one wizard tower for all of you guys at a lower town hall levels You know how powerful a wizard tower can be because they're probably the top defense in, in like Town Hall 6 or 7 or something like that. Uh, up, up until you get into the, the, the Town Hall 9 that you have your uh, crossbows. Yeah, I'll spit it out. So, coming towards the end of the video. Appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, I know I've rambled on a lot about the Engineered Clan. Sorry about that again. <laughs> uh, usually I'm a little more lighthearted than that. But I think anyone that's that's been dealing with this like we have been you know, dealing with it for years... Uh, trying to present it in a, in a nice way but there's sometimes it's, there's certain things you just can't be nice all the time about so anyway I do appreciate everyone for, for watching sub to the channel guys I promise we won't bitch every video until <laughs> uh, next time been easy take care everyone Yeah.